you know, I'm pretty fucking disgusted with people like George William Faggot Painter and Ratso Fatso and his leftist liberal ways and arrogant douchebag cocksucker media and uh, you know I, I mean it, it literally got me out of bed to think that these liberal douchebags think that they could control me they think they could tell me what to do on my show of shows which is coming this Wednesday from 7 to 9 p.m. You know the website. You jerk-offs know the website better than I do. And I'm going to be there this Wednesday, and I'm going to, again, continue to blow you off the fucking planet out of your world as you know it. I will vaporize all you leftist liberal douchebags that... I know I'm going to come to my site because, like Ratso, he's a fan. He won't admit it. He's a fan of the Crazy Joe show. But to get back to what I was saying before, I am sick and tired of you jerk-offs telling me what to do and how to do it, forcing me to 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 accept the uh, chocolatos and to uh kiss their ass and 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 suck their dick like you do because like I said when you come from 98.5% white population of both states of Vermont Vermont sounds like like Vermont and New Hampshire it's so easy to be a cheerleader isn't it it's so easy to be an armchair quarterback like Ratso is, you know, uh, giving me his stupid fucking liberal views that I should like chocolatos. Hey, I like chocolatos before you were fucking born, douchebag. Before you were fucking born, or you were little tiny little infants, I was out there doing the black culture thing. I was out there. I didn't I liking loving the music, the Motown and all that good stuff and the jazz music, buying albums at 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 14 or 15 years old. I didn't even know what I was buying, but they were jazz albums under the CTA label, CTI label uh for Creed Taylor. Uh I don't exactly know the position of Creed Taylor, but he was huge. And he put his label together. And he had great percussionists like Ayerto from Brazil. And George Benson before he sold out. And Hubert Laws, the great flute player. And Freddie Hubbard, the great trumpet player. And uh, they had an album uh, called Giant Box. Uh, that uh, that did a... Uh, the opening song was a rendition of Birds of Fire. Firebird from uh, John McLaughlin. Who was one of the uh, uh, one of the greatest guitar players in jazz fusion ever, and uh, 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 Pat Metheny, and um, the guy from the uh, that did the the uh, the, the, the theme from a um, uh, 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 taxi. Uh, I forgot his name. The keyboard player. So you fucking excuse me, you fucking jerk offs out there. Don't you fucking tell me about. Black culture, because in that black culture of great music, there was also white people like, uh, like, uh, 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 well, I'm not coming up with names, unfortunately. It's the morning. I just woke up. I'm trying to get rid of this fucking hair here. And, um, you know, that's really heavy duty shit that you sons of bitch motherfuckers out there would never know. In a million fucking lifetimes. This is like fucking being transported from the Starship Enterprise to another planet. You fucking jerk off losers don't know a fucking thing about my culture and about the culture of the great uh, 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 jazz music that was written by uh, black people 
and some white people uh, were into it very well, uh, like uh, Pat Metheny. And uh, I, I can't think of the name of the person who wrote the thing for Taxi, but he was a, uh, a fantastic jazz keyboard player. So what the fuck do you people know? You know fucking nothing. You're a bunch of fucking morons and a bunch of fucking idiots, okay? Your little leftist liberal douchebag parade is going to come to an end, okay, when Donald gets back uh, into the race, if they let him, okay? The way indicating things is that he may not make it. But believe me, there's there's other people in the party um, that are sick and tired of your leftist liberal douchebags opening the border and letting in every fucking illegal alien uh, in this in um, in um, in here. Uh, well, you you know the border, the border, the border. That's a big issue, and uh, criminals are being let in, and the fentanyl is being let in to be made by by can. It looks like candy, and uh, you know. Out of all the, uh, it's just uh, uh, a, a a tragedy that's going on right now, and it's so against our, you know, like no other country will let their borders be overrun, and this is what's going on now. We are being overrun by undesirables that shouldn't be here, but uh, you know me, I hate talking about politics. It's not my thing. I just don't like young punks like Ratso and his band of boyfriends out there who are uneducated, stupid, idiot, asshole, dick-licking motherfuckers that I think they're going to force me to uh, suck chocolato cock and, uh, and, and whatnot. So I don't do that. I never will do that. And Ratso is a coward who won't debate me. Uh, and that's a shame. Because he's not, um, you know, he's not man enough. Because, see, he's a little boy. And a little boy ain't going to win against a real man like me. And not, I'm not just an ordinary man. I'm an extraordinary man. That means that... Not only do I have the age factor on this guy, but I have the experience of actually living in an urban environment, at times ghetto, that I lived in. I lived in Brooklyn. I lived in the ghetto before it became chic and gentrified by these yuppie puppy douchebag asshole dick white motherfuckers. Those are the other people I don't like, and they're white, and I don't like them because they don't represent to me what's real, what's real, what's real, um, you know, the real street people from New York like me. They're like the, uh, 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 and they got the, uh, now they call them Karens. I, I, we call them Becky girls, and, you know, uh, and the only thing that Mayor Adams, who's the mayor of New York City, ever said, why don't they just get in there, you know, get back in their U-Haul trucks and make a U-turn and go back to the fucking Midwest where they come from, you know? Because these people are not New Yorkers. These people are gentrifiers that have ruined our city, made our city into something that it was never, never meant to be. And, and uh, you know, I mean, Manhattan is one thing, but gentrifying in neighborhoods that had traditional Italian and Irish and German and of European descent people that made the neighborhood regular and affordable and, um, you know, where everybody got along and everybody, I know because I lived in those areas before gentrification. It is disgusting what these uh, white people did coming from other states and gentrifying Brooklyn and Queens. And now uh, the Bronx uh, will be, uh, there's pockets of the Bronx that are going to be gentrified. Gentrification to me is communism. It's, it's, it's fascism. It's leftism. You know, it's, it's, it's what, it's what Ratso 
represents, even though he doesn't have a pot to piss in. I mean, what do you expect from a guy who makes three fifty an hour at some bullshit station, or some public axo station? That's what we call Ratso public axo. You know, but believe me, his kind from those states and other states and Kansas and Oklahoma, well, Carolina, whatever these people come from, to gentrify New York, the scumbags, real pieces of shit, and New York sucks because New York is thought greedy, greed, greed. It's all about greed. It ain't about. It ain't about really living. It ain't about taking care of middle class. The middle class has been eliminated by the greed, by the gentrification, by scumbags like you. Even though you do live in Twin City, Idaho, you fucking jerk off, ass wipe, fuck you. And fuck the goddamn whatever the fuck you wrote it. You douchebag, you broke back mountain douchebag fag. <laughs>